I love learning. I like to challenge myself by always learning something new, which is why I will be completing the one hour learning challenge. This is where I try to improve my ability of a certain skill by practicing for just one hour. Why just one hour? Well, this graph explains why. The learning curve here is steep, which shows that when you first start learning a new skill, you learn those basics quickly. Because, well, they're the basics. They're the easiest part. I want to, I want to see how much of that learning curve I can climb after just one hour. The hardest part is simply beginning. Hopefully, after that first hour, I will have noticeably improved and any future practice will be much easier to begin after that initial one hour investment. Hey. What? You again? Yes, me again. You said all this in last week's video. Why are you saying it again? Okay, in this case, the unwanted heckler makes a good point. You can get all of this information in this video up here. Let's move on. Today, I want to improve my drawing, but that's much too broad a skill. So to focus it on one specific area, I'm saying that I want to improve how I can draw castles. I love castles and I've visited many in my time. So drawing one will be very, very enjoyable for me. Now that I've decided on a specific skill, I need to record my current level of abilities. I will do this by drawing a castle now. Yes, right now. Let's go. Today I'll be using three useful videos. Firstly, how to draw castles by pen and blade that like and or subscribe. How to draw castles step by step by circle line art school, like and subscribe, because that helps the YouTube algorithm. And how to draw stonework by shoe rainer drawing. Once again, for, because he's helping me out, I'll give him a like and I'll subscribe. So the rest of my time will be spent finding wonderful images from this book here. With all of that in place, the only thing to do now is to get started. The first step is to draw the up and down crenellation. Whoa. The fourth step is to add. For my picture, I use. Uh, Whoa! Like, How did they do all that so quickly? I decided to stop using this video about here because of the shading technique that they were using would have taken longer than I could afford to spend while doing this challenge. Let's move on. Castles, as everyone knows, has these little triangles, triangle towers. Okay, maybe the wall's a different height because castles are built on, castles are built on mountains. Honestly, I'm not even really thinking about like if it makes sense. Shading like so. Maybe here, let's say there's. Like and then, um, let's have a kind of gothic archway there. So, so I think what I'm gonna do is put this little support kind of bits going up the shoulder technical to have one of them but I don't know what Machiculations.
<gasps> More time! Okay, let's see how we did. I really liked the castle drawn by Circle Line Art School, but I found their shading technique too time consuming to try to copy for the purpose of this challenge. However, let me know if you think I should copy that technique for a whole other one hour challenge in the future. I really liked the technique shown by Pen and Blade. It's very simple to put together, but the results are very impressive indeed. This has given me many ideas to use in the future, as opposed to in the past. I really liked the structure of Shu Rayner's castle and his idea to keep things really simple when it comes to the details, only just putting in enough to give the rock effect. The Red Keep requires much more shading, so I needed more time to spend on that. I quite liked the rock stack idea for the castles from Pike. That's an idea I'd like to use again soon as well. Only one thing remains. Can I draw a better castle now than I did one hour ago? I'm gonna put all of these reference pictures aside and let's begin. Okay, let's see how I went. As a reminder, here is my pretest. I'm fairly happy with it, but after the 10 minutes that I spent on this, I was done. I had no other ideas. So I think it just lacks a lot of imagination. After one hour, how did I do? Drum roll, please. Now, I'm not usually one to blow my own horn, but... This is actually pretty good. Yeah. After one hour, I went from this to this. Even though this picture is definitely unfinished, I'm much happier with this than the pre-test castle because of, I believe it is much more imaginative. I have many more ideas of things I could put into this picture if I used, if I spent more time on it. So because I have so many more ideas to put into this picture now, I think that I've definitely improved by completing this challenge. I try to combine ears from both Shu Rayner's castle and the Pen and Blade castle. I'm also much happier with the dragons that I learned from the Game of Thrones book. If you look at my first dragon, the wings aren't even on the right end. If I was to do this uh, one hour challenge again, I would only select two videos instead of three. I found three just a bit too much to try and master in the hour. And, and it didn't give me much time to work through my Game of Thrones reference book either. Secondly, my action camera ran out of battery. So I'm not sure how much of the drawing I actually managed to capture. Hopefully there's some there. Do I still have more work to do? Yes, yes I definitely do. I've only done one hour out of my 20 hours to become good at something. But I have many more ideas now. Many more concepts that I just can't wait to try out. So am I more likely to try those out now? I think yes, yes I am. Which castle do you think was better? My pre-test or my post-test? Put it in the comments down below. And also let me know if you have anything that you think I should learn. Join me again next week to learn something new in an hour. And remember, if you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything.